This lecture is part of a Udemy course entitled Design of Wastewater Treatment Plants for On-Site Projects. You will learn how to fully design a treatment plant for small to medium scale projects. You can find an 80% discount promo link in the description box. Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture that will be about designing an MBR wastewater treatment system. We will go through the step-by-step -step calculations and then we will see a practical example. This is actually part one that will be uh, out of many parts to be able to fully design an MBR wastewater treatment plant. First of all, we will start by explaining the MBR scheme. I have uh, previously posted a video about uh, the MBR in general and the full description of an, a membrane bioreactor treatment plant. I will be explaining the MBR scheme that we will be uh, working on in uh, this lecture. So first of all, we have the pre-treatment consisting of a fine screen. So the screen that will be able to remove uh, some uh, coarse and fine particles. And, and as you can notice, we don't have a, a primary uh, sedimentation tank. So after the fine screening, we have the anoxic tank or what we also call as pre-denitrification uh, tank. It consists of uh, a mixer and we do not have any injection of air. So no aeration in this tank. Then we have uh, the aeration tank with uh, some uh, diffusers and of course we have some blowers to inject uh, this air within this aeration tank and within this uh, same tank we have immersed membrane models so uh, this is uh, the MBR membranes and uh, this is where we have uh, the massive reduction of organic matters of uh, BOD and uh, COD and also uh, this is where the ammonia will be actually transformed into uh, nitrates so we have what we call as the nitrification and uh, then some amount of uh, sludge what we call as the returned activated sludge will be actually pumped into the anoxic tank to get rid of this nitrate and this is what we call as the denitrification and the nitrate will be actually transformed into uh, nitrogen so this is in summary uh, the process and in this lecture we will be actually uh, focusing on this part on uh, designing uh, the area and uh, the uh, aeration requirements for the membrane uh, scouring and in future lectures we will uh, also cover the other parts so you will be able to design the full uh, process now we will go through some uh, definitions. Of course, we will be dealing with uh, some parameters to be able to design the uh, MBR models. Uh, we will start by the uh, design membrane flux, J, and this is in liters per hour per meter square. So this is actually the flux uh, in liters per uh, area of the membrane. Uh, it has a, a certain derived formula. We will see this formula later. Later on. Uh, second, we have the module packing density phi in meter square per meter cube, and this value you get it from the manufacturer or the vendor. You have to pick uh, the manufacturer that you will be dealing with, and from the catalog and the brochure, you can get this uh, packing density. And we have also the specific aeration demand SAD in meter cubes uh, of air per hour per meter square of MBR uh, membrane and this also as the name suggests this is actually the aeration demand of the MBR modules. Now we will go through the step-by-step -step design. First we will start by the inputs. Now note that as I have previously said what we are doing is in this lecture is designing this part. So this part only we are getting the area required 
by the MPR models and also the aeration uh, required for the membrane scouring. First of all, we have obviously to get the wastewater flow, so the flow uh, that we are designing. Usually you get it in meter cubes per day, but you have to convert it in liters per hour. So Q in liters per hour, uh, you use a basic conversion. Then we have to find the model packing density phi, denoted as phi. And you get this, as I have pro uh, previously said, uh, by the manufacturer's uh, catalog. Then we have to find the specific aeration demand, SAD. The value is usually 0.3 meter cubes of air per hour per meter square so 0 0.3 and finally we have to get the wastewater's a uh, temperature t in degrees celsius now we will go through the step-by-step -step, uh, calculations first we have to calculate the design membrane flux and this is uh, actually uh, finding j through a derived formula and this derived formula is in function of the temperature of the wastewater so j will be equal to 0.73 times the temperature in degrees celsius plus 7.25 and we will get a value in liters per hour per meter square so as i have said this is a derived formula i will not enter uh, into the details on uh, of how we got this formula Second, we have to calculate the membrane area. So AM, which is the uh, mem the total area of the uh, MPR uh, membranes or modules, uh, will be equal to the uh, Q0 or the flow of the wastewater in liters per hour over J. So the value that we have already uh, found and we will get the membrane area in meter square. So already we know uh, the area that uh, these MPR modules will occupy. Three, we have to calculate the scouring airflow required by these MPR modules. So the scouring airflow will be equal to AM, so the membrane area times SAD, so times 0.3 and we will get a value of meter cubes per hour and uh, this actually uh, a volume of air this will be injected by blowers through uh, coarse bubble diffusers and finally we can uh, calculate the number of uh, cassettes so this is actually a, an MPR cassette so these are the cassettes and to get the, not the total number of uh, cassettes, we have to divide uh, the uh, total area of MBR uh, uh, modules or sheets over one uh, cassette area, so per cassettes area. And also this value, you get it from the manufacturer. Okay, so you can get the total number of cassettes. Now we will go through an example a, a numerical example to be able to understand uh, the previous step-by-step uh, -step calculations. So we have to design the number of cassettes needed and air scouring uh, for uh, these MPR uh, cassettes or modules for a flow of 300 meter cubes of wastewater per day. So what we will be designing is this part. Okay, so uh, we will get the uh, area required uh, by the MPR, uh, the number of cassettes. So whenever we get the area of the MPR, obviously we will be able to design the volume of this part. And also we will design the air required for the uh, membranes scouring. First, we have to work with the wastewater flow, we have to convert it from meter cubes per day into liters per hour actually this is a uh, pretty basic uh, we will multiply a uh, 300 by 1000 uh, to convert meter cubes into liters and then divide it by 24 to get it per hour so we got 12,500 liters of wastewater per hour then we have to find the models packing density from a certain manufacturer 
uh, we have the this value phi equals to 75 meters square per meter cube then we have to find the specific aeration demand as i have said previously sad will be 0.3 meter cubes of air per hour per meter square and finally the wastewater temperature in our case it is 20 degrees celsius now we will enter into the design calculations first we will calculate the design membrane flux j equals to 0.73 times the temperature plus 7.25 so 0 3 times 20 degrees celsius plus 7.25 we will get 21.85 liters per hour per meter square second we can calculate the membrane area so the total area that will be occupied by the mbr models am equals to q0 so the flow that we have already calculated or converted over j 12,500 over J, so this value, and we got a total area of 572 meters square. Third, we have to calculate the scouring airflow required, which is equal to AM times SAD, so 572 times 0.3. We will get a value of 171.6 meter cubes uh, per hour. Uh, of air injected for membrane scouring and finally we can calculate the number of cassettes uh, that is needed and uh, also we need uh, to get the cassettes area from the manufacturer so uh, the area of each cassette will be equal to 17 meters square so as i have said uh, this is per the uh, mbr models that uh, you will be buying so if the cassettes area is 17 meters square so we have to divide the total area uh, of the membranes which is 572 by 17 and we will get in total 34 cassettes so we need 34 mbr uh, cassettes uh, to treat 300 cubic meters of uh, wastewater per day at 20 degrees celsius so this is all for this part please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in part two for the complete design of the mbr wastewater treatment plant